Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be customising and reviewing the brand new Declassy Vamos and um, from this update we have had a lot of new muscle cars which is amazing because um, we've lacked. Rockstar have definitely slacked off with the amount of uh, muscle cars they've added into the game um, so I'm very very pleased to see Rockstar adding new muscle cars because um, I was getting sick of the fucking supercars to be fair. But we are here to customize and review this brand new to class A Vamos and on the you know on the outset it looks really really nice man. I'm actually really digging the look of this car. Uh, the front of that actually really looks like the blade which is already in the game. Um, so it's very very similar to the blade actually. Even the rear end. The way it sits as well where it's a little bit lower at the back and higher at the front. Um, but obviously the shell's different but it is very very similar looking to the blade uh, that's what came to my mind when I first saw it anyway but anyway without any further ado we're going to start this customization with 100% body armor then we're going to go to the brakes we're going to get the race brakes for the bumper front bumpers and we've got quite a few options uh, so we've got the spoiler splitter wow that is ugly as fuck please never do that uh, so we've got the front, uh, painted front bumper is that not the same as the stock yeah it looks like it maybe a little bit different then we've got the same with the chin spoiler and then painted and then that crap okay it's it's a shame that the you know the, the bumpers aren't chrome <sighs> like a stock because I would actually prefer that because then we do get an option for the painted front bumper which is very odd because um, the stock ones painted so I don't really understand that but we are going to choose it anyway. Hopefully, maybe if it's got a secondary colour, we can then change it. Uh, maybe like something like chrome, something like that. I think that would look a lot nicer. Uh, but for now, we are going to go with a painted front bumper. Uh, then we're going to move on to the rear bumper. So we've got a painted rear, which is exactly the same as the stock, oddly enough. Then we've got the wheelie bar. And the... It's got a wheelie bar and a shoe, parachute. Wow. don't think I've seen that on a car yet in GTA. So that's a nice addition, I think. Um, don't really know what sort of theme I'm gonna go with this car. I mean, if you want to make it look like a, a drag racer, that would be a really nice addition to it. Uh, the wheelie bar with the shoot, definitely. Uh, but I th think I'm just gonna go with a clean build for now. Uh, so I'm just gonna go with a painted rear bumper. Then we've got the engine. We're gonna go with the level four engine upgrade. Then we've got the exhausts. We hold down the accelerator so I can actually see what the exhaust look like. So we've got the chrome tip there. Sorry, not the chrome tip. We've got the stock ones, which actually look quite nice. Then we've got the chrome tip, um, which also look quite nice too. Nothing to write home about, but they're all right. Same with the big bores. Same with the straight pipes. So as you can see, they're very classic, which is nice. Then we've got the hot ring. They come out of the side. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's wrong. See where the smoke's coming from? It's just above the exhaust, so they're broken. Oh, yeah, okay, that's not good. <laughs> and then we've got the titanium hot ring. Let's see if we can get it. To, yeah, see, see how that blows fire then, just above where the exhausts are. So we'll go skip past them ones. We're definitely not going to have them. I actually really like the race exhausts. They're nice. Uh, the big balls are pretty cool too. But I think the race exhausts are my favourite. So I'm going to go with those bad boys. Then we've got an option for fenders. Not something we get to see on many cars. So we've got the fender delete. Hang on, hang on. No, that's not a fender delete. That's a trim delete. Why is it under fenders if it goes the whole length of the car? That's very odd. Ooh, I can see why we're in fenders now. That looks weird. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Is that a good thing? I don't think that's a good thing. It makes it look like a pickup truck. I mean, I'm all for, all for wide bodying and stuff, but that looks weird, man. And it doesn't pull out the... The wheels with with the wheel, with the wide arch either, so the fitment's all wrong. Yeah, that looks odd. I do like the trim delete though; it does look quite nice. But then it kind of takes away some of its charm. I know it sounds a bit daft, but it takes away that little trim across the skirt at the bottom as well, not just the you know the whole length of the trim. Um, I think it looks better with, so I'm gonna stay stock for the for the fenders. Then we're gonna go to the grill. We've got the black open, then we've got the billet, the mesh, exposed, 
Wow, I like that one. Exposed turbo, that looks cool, man. Then we've got the twin turbo. Not a massive fan of the twin. I think this one probably looks the best, along with the intercooler. I think I'm gonna go with the twin, with the not the twin. Sorry, I'm gonna go with the exposed turbo grill. I think that looks awesome. Because uh, again, I don't think I've ever seen another car in a game with that, like behind the grill. So uh, look, that's, that's a nice, nice change, nice addition. Then we're gonna go to the hood. We've got the carbon. We've got the all the performance hood. So we've got the hood pins. I like that. I think that, that looks awesome. Then we've got the cowl induction. Wow. Holy crap. <laughs> we got these massive big big blocks sticking out of the top. Whoa. <laughs> they look insane. Um, I think I'm just going to go with the hood pins because I think they look awesome. And these ones just go fucking insanely crazy. I mean, look at that. Then we're going to go to the lights. I'm going to purchase the Xeon headlights. And we also get livery options for this car, which is pretty cool, depending on what sort of liveries they are. Uh, but this white double looks really nice. I like that. It goes really nice with the with the red car as well. Then we've got the same bit in black. Again, it goes really nice, but not as nice as the white. The white definitely looks better. Uh, this one. Oh, I like that. Very nice. Digging that. Then we've got, this, then we've got the, the black side stripe. Which is pretty cool. I suppose if you go back into the fender and remove the door trim, uh, that would actually look pretty cool. So I might go with that actually. Then we've got the flame, obviously. Got to have a standard flame livery. Then we've got the uh, founder of the field, which is a rusty livery, which is pretty cool. Um, the rusted stripes. I actually like some of these rusted liveries, man. They look alright. Not always a massive fan of liveries with sponsors on it, but that one looks alright. I like these stripes with the with like the poppies or the roses, whatever they're supposed to be, integrated into the into the racing stripes. I think they actually look really nice. Shame you can't just get them racing stripes without all this other crap on the side. Uh, you know. And then we've got this one. That's okay as well. If you want a, like a racing livery, I think that one actually looks alright. Because it's, you know, it's quite simplistic. There's nothing too crazy going on. And, yeah. I think this is definitely a nudge towards the, you know, the Quentin Tarantino movie Death Proof. I can't think. I think it was a Chevy Nova they used um, in that movie. I'm not 100% sure. But I'm pretty sure that's the... Well, not going to be exactly the same, but that's going to be very, very similar to the logo that's on the hood of that car in that film. So that's a very... That's really cool, man. I like that. It's a nice touch. If this is actually what it's supposed to be, I'll have to go back and have a look um, at like the movie car and see what it's all about. Because I think it's a Chevy Nova. So this is very, very close to that car. Um, and now you've got that livery. Maybe a future build. Future movie car build coming up. I think I've already done the death proof car on here as well. Um, so obviously this is going to be an updated version of it when I eventually do it. But we're not going to be doing it in this one. Uh, so we're going to quickly leave that now. And I think I'm going to purchase... I think I'm actually going to go with this white side stripe. That looks really good. It does actually look like the Starsky and Hutch car now. <laughs> but I ain't going to keep it red. Um, but I really like that livery so I'm going to go with it. So now we're going to move on to the respray. I'm going to go primary color to start. Then we're going to go classic because we do have a livery. I don't really want to be uh, fucking about with uh, the color of that livery. And if you go metallic, then it gives a weird pearlescent shine on the livery. So we don't want to be doing that. Um, for the color, I'm feeling like a blue. I think blue actually would look really good. Obviously, red looks good. Um, but I want to switch it up a little bit. Even orange looks pretty smart. Yeah, I want to kind of switch it up a little bit. I don't think I've done a yellow car for a while. Maybe we'll have yellow. I actually think racing green looks pretty cool, man. So I'm going to go with racing green for the primary color. Then we're going to go into the secondary color. I'm going to go chrome because that looks fucking amazing. Look at that. Now we change it to chrome. Let's have that bad boy. And um, whilst I'm here, I'm going to quickly go back to the fenders and I'm going to remove that um, the trim on the side. So there we go. Remove that. And now that looks a lot nicer. It looks a lot cleaner with the livery that I've got. So after that, we've got the roll cage, and we are going to be purchasing the stunt cage, 100%. Then we've got the roof. We're going to go with, um, no, we're going to stay with a stock roof. Then we're going to go to the spoiler. We've got the low level, and you've got the lip spoiler. And as you can see, uh, you do get an added traction bonus when you do apply a spoiler. So uh, if you're going to be using it in races, you're going to need to purchase a spoiler. So moving on, we've got the ductile spoiler. The stock car, the drag. Ooh. I'm not sure about that. It looks like you've got a fucking picnic table hanging off the back of your car. 
They've got the extended drag. <laughs> it's that even bigger. Oh crap. And then we've got the same bit in carbon. And you've got a drift wing. Uh, that's a little bit disappointing that the delivery doesn't go over that one. Uh, I think that's probably why I'd stay away from that. But if you haven't got a livery, I think that lip spoiler might look quite nice. Same with a ducktail as well. Uh, but because I have got a livery, it, and it cuts it off, it looks kind of strange. So, because I'm not going to be doing races, if I was going to be doing races, I'd, I'd pick the low level. But because I'm not, I'm going to stay none. Then we're going to go to the suspension. Uh, as you can see at the minute, it does sit quite low anyway on the stock. So if we drop it to the competition, that is a big drop. A very big drop, but it looks awesome. So we're going to go competition suspension, we're going to go transmission, we're going to get the race transmission and turbo tuner. And for the wheels guys, we're going to go into wheel type. Um, it's hard to pick wheels for a muscle car. I actually look like them Farlow ones. They look really cool. Yeah, fuck it, we're just going to go with them because I could be going through these forever. Uh, wheel colour, we're going to change that to carbon black so it's a little bit lighter. For the tyre design, as, you can, as I've already said, it gets a drag tyre print around the, the wall of the tyre, which actually looks quite good. I'm going to go with, why the hell not, make it look a little bit different. And then to finish off the build, as always, we're going to go into the windows and purchase the low smoke window tint. So here you go, my dudes, there is my build on the brand new Vamos. And it actually looks really, really good. I'm actually really impressed with the way it looks. Um, the customizations of it isn't great. Uh, there's not loads in the way of what you can do to it um, but what you can do to it actually makes it look a lot nicer like I said I can also do a movie car build on the Chevy Nova from Death Proof uh, we're using this car because we now get that skull and crossbones uh, livery on the bonnet or the hood of the car uh, which is actually going to be a really really good build I can feel it um, but the the addition of this turbo behind the grille the work and turbo as well, the way you can see it spinning, that looks really, really good. And um, this is definitely one of the first cars that has that. I know there are other cars where you can have it in the bumper a little bit lower. I think the Jester Classic is one of them. I uh, can't think of any other cars that have it. Um, but yeah, the work and turbo in the grill, nice touch, looks really good. The liveries are really good as well. I think it looks awesome in green. Um, so customization is a little bit lackluster, it's not great, uh, but what you can do to it, you know, it's okay. So you can make it look a little bit nicer than what it is at stock. Uh, you don't get the super transmission with this car that I've noticed, uh, but with all the other cars I'm pretty sure you have. You can see, just from going in a straight line, it is very quick, so this might be a competitor in the muscle category uh, in regards to races. Um, go around corners, it feels a little bit heavy, but then once you get off get over the the heaviness of the of the steering it, it, it likes to i don't know it's like it wants to spin so yeah so it, it is very tail happy and you feel like if you go into a corner it takes a while to turn into it and then when it does it goes all or nothing on that turn and it kind of takes you off guard a little bit so turning isn't great but it is a muscle car so you can kind of forgive it for that so going in a straight line is very quick handling is a little bit weak but like I said it is a muscle car so you can't expect too much from the handling but just going in a straight line you can see how quick this is and it is very bouncy as well I've noticed a lot of the a lot of the cars in this update have this weird handling file where if they hit the slightest little bump in the road they're going to be chucked up into the air um, so it's very very odd the worst case of this uh, is on the Italian GTO that is truly dreadful for handling this doesn't seem too much better uh, like I said it is very fast uh, for a muscle car so it, I, I think it will be competitive um, but the handling isn't great it's not as bad as the GTO or the Italy GTO in regards to the the handling file where it bounces up and down but it does do the bouncing but it's nowhere near as bad as the Italy GTO um, yeah so speeds good handling's pretty wank pretty weak uh, not the not the best uh, and the customizations are, are pretty good not the best again but they're okay uh, would I buy it I think I probably would because it is a nice looking car uh, but me personally I like muscle cars over supercars and stuff like that um, a lot of the sports cars are now starting to look very similar to each other so uh, it's hard to get me excited about a sports car in this game same as the supercars they're all pretty much the same thing as well uh, so having new muscle cars in the game is definitely a plus and I think this is a very very nice looking 
example of a muscle car. It's just the handling that lets it down, unfortunately. But um, like I said, I probably would buy it because it is a nice looking car. It's very quick. Handling's okay, um, but it can be a little bit ropey if you go over you know, a high enough bump and it chucks you off course. Uh, but that being said, I am going to end the video right there. So if you did enjoy, please hit that like button. If you haven't already, want to subscribe to the YouTube channel for more videos like this. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios. So guys, as I stopped recording in that first video, I then later found out that we can do this. Yes, this car does wheelies and it is very simple to do. You hold down the handbrake, hold down the accelerator, so it revs, let go of the handbrake and you do sweet ass wheelies. So I just thought that was very interesting. I didn't really want to leave it out of the video as it was a review video as well as a build. Uh, so I thought I must record and just add this little bit onto the end just to let you guys know, if you didn't know already, that the Vamos does wheelies. That's it guys. Take it easy.